Hello friends, this is Vahid from VRF Education and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to start a new playlist in my channel and teaching how to use Streamlit. Streamlit is a Python library that's going to help developers to create web UI for their applications. So why do we need to use Streamlit when we have a lot of other choices out there? Many of them are uh, well known and used for many years. We can use TKinter for developing uh, desktop GUI for Python application. It's very old and also it's very uh, hard to create a, a rich UI with that. But we can also use PyQt or PySight or even Kiwi. Uh, so PyQt and PySight are based on Qt framework and you can use its designer, Qt designer to create look and feel and also a, a very interactive user interface for your application. And these are for desktop, uh, de for, for desktop applications. If you want to develop a web site, you can use Django and Flask. They are gonna provide a lot of features and a lot of facilities to help you create very good, uh, dynamic and interactive websites. So why do we need to use Streamlit? If by any chance you are a data scientist or working in machine learning fields, you need to focus on your business, on your algorithm, on uh, your idea, how to do things there, create some models and things uh, like that. And if you want to create a UI, you need uh, to have a good understanding of developing UI in a desktop environment or even in web base. So if you don't have any knowledge of uh, how to create a web uh, page, now, nowadays, web pages are more popular than desktop applications. So you need to go and learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, or things like Django or Flask uh, to be able to create uh, simple web applications. But with Streamlit, you don't need to learn anything about web development or front-end development. You just need to think about how you need to interact with your end user. So Streamlit gonna help you a lot to create interactive web applications in minutes with a small bunch of code and I'm gonna show you how to do that in upcoming sessions. Before continuing on the slides, I'm gonna provide, uh, I'm, I'm gonna uh, show you some samples I created with Streamly to see what this library will bring for, uh, will bring for us. Let's see uh, what uh, those samples. Well, I created five different samples and we will see them one by one. And in each sample, we focus on uh, some aspects of Streamlit and the features this library provides for us. In this first sample, we can see we have a very simple web page with different two pages, the main area and a sidebar. So you can collapse or expand it. And you don't need even to know how to create these things in HTML and CSS or any other libraries. You just need to tell a streamlit, I want a sidebar, or I want a slider, I want uh, an upload file, or I want an area, expandable area, to tell some information for the user. So you just need to tell the streamlit what you want and the data that should be rendered inside these widgets. So here uh, we want to get a file from the user and do some uh, businesses on, or apply some algorithm on the, that photo. So you can browse a file or drag and drop on that one. So here your image uploaded and you can see the image here. And when it's uploaded, you can easily apply uh, Streamlit gonna inform you the image uploaded and you can do your businesses. So this is the first one, you can uh, delete it. It has a lot of functionality for you. Now let's go for the second one. Here again, we have a sidebar. This time we have some uh, other widgets here, uh, a color selection uh, widget. So we can select the color and apply it. So I'm not applying it right here now. I just uh, put it here for demo. And here in the main section, we have different widgets, different standard widgets that you can use for creating your web UI. And most of the time we use these kind of widgets in 80% of uh, situations we just need to use these kind of widgets so we have we have a button a slider to get a uh, integer or number value from the user a drop down with different options so user can select one among the other and multiple options so user can select multiple options or you can remove them 
a group of uh, radio options you can select one between a collection again we have a drop down here uh, i'm sorry a file upload widget so you can upload a file and you can also see the progress for uploading the file and also we support youtube uh, videos or even we can uh, use columns to separate data and uh, put them side by side and also it's a uh, again we have some expandable uh, area to provide some information a grid or a table to load data this is very good for pandas or with numpy we will see it in upcoming session charts just like uh matplotlib you can also uh, render data in charts inside your web app there's a lot of uh, different charts and we will see them also in upcoming sessions this is a progress bar or even you can show a couple of codes uh, or a code area inside your site um, using a very um, distinguishable um, panel here then, and then uh, render some um, codes here so user can see what you are working or what the code uh, what is the code you want to show to the user let's move to the next one here we have different pages this is the first page that contains a couple of widgets we can move between different pages using our side panel this is a registration form this is inside another uh, page and also the third page you can get into this page here a couple of other uh, items here these are good for data scientists and let's go for the next options here we have again two pages this one we have an interactive page whenever you select a row you can be it says here the selected row is the id1 or it's id4 you can get the selected rows uh, you have pagination here you don't need to do anything you just provide the pagination information for example i want to have 10 rows in each page and a stream lead will take care for that and also we can have some uh, other functionality with our table we can also double click uh, the data can be modified or even you can just sort the data by clicking on the columns you can download the data looking for some data for example i'm looking for uh, mina oops mina and uh, you can see it says we have uh, two results here you can move between them the first one the next one and also you can again uh, i told you download the a csv file for your table right now that is loaded inside the web page and the last one it's uh, contained the tab widget you can create tab to show different uh, type of data in the related tab page here we have a registration form it's a chat box here there's a table inside this tab and here in this tab we have three different columns to show how we can um, show the data side by side so these are the basic demos that i want to show you that streamlit gonna provide for us and it's gonna a lot of other things we will see all of them one by one in upcoming sessions now let's get back to slides so we just saw what streamlit gonna provide for us as a developer now let's see uh, the other things about the streamlit so as i told you it's an open source library so you don't need uh, to worry about the licensing and uh, things like that it's an open source python library for creating interactive web applications and with the aim of streamlit you don't need to have any front-end experience it's very simple as i told you you just need to tell streamlit what really you want with just calling a couple of methods and providing related data for any widgets or for any layout and things like that and also as i told you it's designed for data scientists and engineers that they want to focus on their businesses not the, and they are not going to uh, dealing with how to create a web page or a gui for their application they just want a simple library to help them to reveal what they are working on this is where a simlet going to help you a lot in Estimate, we have different uh, features and uh, we just that uh, we just saw sliders buttons text input uploading files these are the widgets 
data visualization such as uh, the charts, the data table, and things that we can deal with complex data. Media support, uh, you can see how we can uh, upload an image, a video, or even YouTube videos. And also, uh, we have a real-time interaction. Whenever uh, something happens through the web page, it can uh, just inform the back codes, the codes that run behind immediately most of the time. And also, you can defer it. For example, you want to collect data inside a form, so we can defer the, the data collection till the register or submit button collect. But uh, by default, it's very real time, and you can uh, be informed about what happened inside the UI immediately. And also, you can deploy the output of Streamlit on uh, Streamlit Community Cloud, or even you can use custom servers, uh, creating Docker image and things uh, like that to share your web UI between uh, other people. Streamlit also uh, target three different roles, developers, teams, and businesses. So for developers, uh, as uh, we talked about, we don't need to have any 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 front end experience you just need to focus on your python code the other things will be handled by a stream lead. and you can just build those prototype in just uh, an hour or two or three hours and you just uh, and you don't need to spend for example a week or a month on creating the ui if you want to create those uh, uh, those, uh those uis that we just uh, saw I think you need to spend a couple of days to create them. And you need to have a lot of information about how to create uh, the pages. And for themes, when we have a Streamlit, we can share our insight about the project interactively. We just not focus on some static reports. We can see the output dynamically and see what's going on with our businesses and the logic behind the scene. And uh, also for our businesses, we uh, can lead to the um, target of the application or the ideas very sooner. And uh, we just use a lightweight tool, and that's a stream lead. Uh, so for deployment, as I uh, told you, you can run it locally. For the development, you will need to run it locally using this uh, uh, command line after installing a stream lead. And also you can deploy it online, for example, on uh, a stream lead community cloud or using a cloud infrastructure and run a Docker on that. And we will see it uh, at the end of this uh, service. And uh, Streamly, just like uh, all other libraries, have some limitations. First, and the most important one is that uh, Streamlit is single-threaded. If you are dealing with a heavy and multi-user backend, maybe Streamlit is not the good choice for you. But for most of the time, I think for 80% of uh, the situations, Streamlit can be the first choice. And this is not going to be a big deal. Uh, single threaded uh, and you can deal with that for your application and also uh, you are limited to um, the front end design that Streamlit provides for uh, you but it's uh, very acceptable I think the nature of it is very acceptable and you don't need to worry about uh, the look and feel it's very nice and you can use it it's very uh, familiar for all the users and again, it says uh, requires Python knowledge as the limitations, but you're already a Python developer, so it's not a limitation. I just mention it because uh, it's just mentioned in the sources. And uh, for the final word, uh, I'm going to um, invite you to learn how to use Streamlit. It's uh, going to help you a lot in creating web app for your uh, applications or your for uh, for your ideas you can create a good look and feel dashboards and many stuff like that and i'm going to show you in upcoming sessions how you can use the power of stream leads to um, handle this kind of thing uh, this kind of uh, stuff and uh, there's a lot of uh, resources out there 
it's a uh, official website it's streamlit.io and there's a good um, documentation out there you can use and i'm gonna um, show you the basics and uh, how you're gonna use streamlit to build a web ui with some hand-on projects okay you can find uh, those resources in my channel vr of education english this is my channel so i hope you enjoy uh, this session and in uh, the next session we will dive into how to install streamlit and create our first application with streamlit till next session goodbye